Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be focusing specifically on some of the most common Raymond Electric Palette Jack Error Codes. I'll be breaking down the reasons, what performance limits they impose, how to clear them, and the corrective actions you need to take. This information can save you a great deal of hassle and downtime. So, without further ado, let's get started. Electric Palette Jack Error Codes are categorized into two groups. C4 Caution and E4 Error. C error codes are not stored in the memory. It is only a caution and is highlighted on the display as long as the fault exists. Meanwhile, E error codes indicate that a malfunction or failure has occurred. These codes are stored in the long-term error memory. E codes disable functions and remain active even if power is cycled until the underlying issue is properly diagnosed and resolved. So let's start with the most common error code displaying on the Raymond Electric Palette Jack, C28. This code appears if the power amplifier was unable to reset via the CAN bus when powering on. It can also occur if the amplifier detects that the master control on off switch is stuck open. With code C28 active, lift and drive functions may remain operational, but some speed restrictions apply. Cycling the power usually clears a C28 warning code once the underlying issue is corrected. Another common caution code is C20, signaling an issue with the thumb control, not being in neutral at power on, or a possible throttle position sensor failure. With C20 active, the drive functions will be locked out, while lifting may still work. Start troubleshooting by visually inspecting the position sensor and connectors for any signs of damage. Check the mechanical portions of the throttle controller. Give special attention to the magnet arm alignment with the ETAC sensors and to the non-metallic parts of the emergency reverser. If those check out fine, the throttle position sensor itself will likely need replacement. Moving on to our first actual error code E101 suggests that the installed power amplifier is not compatible with ETAC software. This incompatibility forces all operations to a halt. Clearing E101 requires updating to the correct amplifier software for that truck type. Check the Raymond documentation to identify the right version your model needs and program the new code. E106 errors relate to overcurrent faults in the contactors or the traction motor's magnetic field. The power amplifier attempted to deliver more current than allowed to the main contactor coil, traction motor field winding, or digital output. Check the main contactor coil traction motor field winding, digital output, or associated wirings. Automatically clears after a brief delay once the overcurrent condition is resolved. Replace the power amplifier if the issue still persists. Slow traction at low speeds can trigger an E114 motor speed fault. This code arises if the controller detects a stalled traction motor or excessive traction motor load at low speed and the brake may not be releasing or stuck on the motor end bell. This error code blocks drive functions while allowing it to lift. Thoroughly inspect the brake assembly and end bell contactors to confirm no sticking. Reducing the weight on board may also help mitigate these stalled motor events. Error code E150 highlights a short or open circuits in open wiring. Electrical noise and CAN wiring due to bad connection, outside interference, or low voltage can also cause code E150. All truck operations are disabled when this code appears. The code clears after communication is restored. It may also require a power cycle. Check and bus connections for corrosion, damage, or loose contacts. Check system ground. Add shielding if needed. And there you have it. Understanding Raymond Electric Palette Jack error codes is crucial for maintaining operational efficiency and safety. By familiarizing yourself with these codes, their causes, and corrective actions, you can minimize downtime and prevent costly repairs. Remember, timely maintenance and troubleshooting are key to ensuring the smooth operation of your electric pallet jack. If your troubleshooting ever leads you to need replacement parts like a new motor, power amplifier, sensors, switches, or other components, we have an abundance of parts in stock for Raymond Electric Pallet Jacks and most other brands. Plus, with same-day shipping, you can quickly get your equipment back up and running. 
Check the links in the description to visit our website or contact us today to learn more about our products and services. That's it for today's video. We hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.